Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Switch again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for September 8, 2014, around 8.20 p.m. And I got some news to report. The NBA is re-upping on a long-term contract extension with the TV partners ESPN, ABC, and Turner Sports, and NBA TV for another eight years. This deal is going to be worth $2 billion dollars when it's announced, it's going to probably be announced sometime this fall. And the current contract runs to the 2015-2016 NBA season. And it's going to extend another eight years. And this is a good move by ABC, ESPN, and Terra Sports and NBA TV. Because it shuts out Fox Sports 1 and NBCSN to get the rights to the NBA. There was rumors that the NBA was looking to add a third television package to carve out for either Fox Sports 1 or NBCSN. But ESPN insisted that that they wanted a, a no third television package for the NBA because they wanted to keep their rights to it. And I, I agree with them. The NBA is good for ESPN slash ABC and Turner Sports. They do a great job in covering the NBA, and I and this is a and this is a great deal for them. And it's it's a, this is a big blow for Fox Sports One and NBCSN. If they grab any part of the NBA package, they would have been all right, and it would have been a big blow to Turner Sports and ESPN slash ABC. That's about it on that. My third and final video subject of the night is about talk show host Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh is a conservative talk show host and he is he is so popular. He's been on the air for 25 years and his radio show, The Rush Limbaugh Show, is the number one talk show in all of America. Rush Limbaugh's real name is Rush Hutchinson Limbaugh III. He grew up in Cape Girard, Missouri and he went to high school there as well. His first job was in the radio at the age of 16 under the name Rusty Sharp and he was he was a DJ at a radio station. He went to school at Southeastern Missouri State University but he dropped out after he flunked all his subjects after three semesters. He was more focused on a radio career than his education. Well this turned out to be successful for Rush and then he went to several radio stations in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, playing, um, working for top 40 radio stations as a DJ and host. And during his time in Pittsburgh, he became a Pittsburgh Steeler fan for life. Then he moved back to the Midwest to, take, to work for several radio stations. He even worked for the music sales for some of these radio stations. In 1979, Rush Limbaugh, got a job working for the Kansas City Royals for four, five years. He worked in several positions for them. In 1983, he was actually on the broadcasting team on the radio. And during this time, Rush developed the friendship with um, Royals third baseman George Brett, which they're still friends today. In 1984, Rush Limbaugh hosted his first radio talk show in Sacramento, California for at KFB. K. It was his talk show. It got real good ratings in Sacramento, and he got more and more recognition, more and more national attention. And the president of ABC New ABC Radio at the time saw, listened to Rush Limbaugh a few times, and he, he said Rush Limbaugh would be a perfect host in the East Coast. And then he moved to New York, and he broadcast the Rush Limbaugh show for the first time on national tel national radio on August 1st, 1988 from the studios of WABC in New York. And WABC was a, is the flagship station for the Rush Limbaugh show. And it's heard in so many different parts of the United States. Over 660 radio stations have the Rush Limbaugh show. And his popularity continued to grow during the first Gulf War, and he also appeared in several 
television shows and guest appearances. He actually hosted the Pat Sajak show, guest hosted it a couple of times. He's appeared as himself in a few other popular sitcoms like Hearts of Fire and the Drew Carey Show. He was a spokesperson for Pizza Hut. And he also hosts, also hosts his own radio, I mean, television talk show for four years in syndication from 1992 to 1996, which was basically the Rush Limbaugh show, radio show on television talking about it, so many subjects, half hour show. It got decent ratings and stuff like that. And he also, he also wrote several books, which were New York Times bestseller. And Rush Limbaugh's hosting is amazing. He's like a shark talker. He rambles and rambles about the subjects of the day and stuff like that. He also blasts a lot of people. He blasts a lot of people from the Democratic Party, like Bill Clinton and Al Gore and John Kerry and global warming and even the current president of the United States, Barack Obama, he talks about him every day, blasting him. And he said he doesn't want him to succeed when he first became the president in 2009. And Rush Limbaugh almost went completely deaf in 2001, but he got corrective surgery with his ears so he could hear fine again. And also, Rush Limbaugh worked for ESPN in 2003 on the NFL countdown as an NFL football commentator, but he only lasted a few weeks until he had some controversy there with, like, um, Eagles quarterback Donovan Fed McNabb. He said some kind of off-colored off remarks about him, and he was quickly removed from NFL countdown. And around that time, he was addicted to pain. Um, medication and he had to go to, through rehab and stuff but he's, he's he's battled that addiction several times and Rush continues to this day to be very 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 popular some some radio stations actually had a had, were nicknamed Rush Radio there was one in Boston Rush Radio 1200 WXKX which had conservative talk shows throughout the day and they actually had the Rush Limbaugh show at, from noon to three, and then they replayed it later on in the day, and they had a weekend weekend replays of it. But that Rush Radio 1200 was not successful. You could barely hear it, and it went went down in the tubes. And and a couple of years later, they went back to WRKO from 12 to 3 because it was on WRKO in Boston for years and years and years and years before that. And Rush Limbaugh makes $50 million a year and stuff like that. And now he broadcasts his show from Florida. That's where he moved to a few years ago because he says he doesn't have to pay state income taxes there. And when New York he was getting getting paid so many taxes and stuff. And Rush Limbaugh's contract expires in 2016. It's going to be very interesting to see if Rush Limbaugh's going to re re resign for more money or if he's going to retire. Or I wouldn't be surprised if he considers going to satellite radio, Sirius XM radio. But they've been having trouble Sirius XM radio with money and stuff. And I don't know if that would be a good fit because... I don't know if they could afford Rush Limbaugh, but that would be very good if he could go to satellite radio because that could be a real boom for his talk show if he does. It would be a big blow to ter terrestrial radio if Rush Limbaugh leaves, but that's something to keep an eye on it. I, I, I'll give it a 50-50 shot that he goes to satellite radio and stuff. Sometimes you see Rush Limbaugh pop up on Fox News and stuff. I'm surprised that Fox News doesn't have a show with Rush Limbaugh, but probably be controversial, and a lot of people probably wouldn't like it. And he's been married four times, but he has no kids, and he's probably sh should go into the Radio Hall of Fame, but we'll wait and see if he'll ever go in the Radio Hall of Fame, or people will say maybe he should get a Presidential Merit of Honor, but I doubt we'll ever see that because... It's just he's not in the cards. A couple of co-workers of 
ex coworkers of mine was big Rush Limbaugh fans, and they always listened to them. I don't want to, can't mention their names right now, but you know who they are. I know who they are. Yeah, and that's about it on that. And I'll be back tomorrow with at least three to six more video blogs. I'm not going to tell you what they are until the final video post. I mean, final post of the night for Facebook and YouTube followers. If you have a Facebook account, sign, add me as a friend and I will accept you. This is Rich signing off for the night and I'll be back tomorrow for more more of these entertaining video blogs because these blogs are going to not go away. It's going to be days, months, years, decades, centuries, millenniums until this ends. And you're listening to the Rush Limbaugh Show, the EIB Radio Network. Mm -hmm. Bye.